that kind of how much the team has improved into your team? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Coach B talked about this week, like this is one of seven rematch games. Um, and just to show the growth of our program, like we really got to do well in these games. So uh, just the mindset going into the game, um, we were very locked in. And, um, I mean, I think you saw how locked in we were on the field. So uh, it was good to be for us. It was the first Power 5 win in since like 2011 um, for, for like non-conference Power 5 win. Just how did that kind of feel? That's awesome. I mean, we're here to make history. So um, it's good to be on the, the good side of the record books, not the bad side. So. Michael, this offense is moving the ball. If you guys clean up the turnovers and red zone stuff, like mm -hmm. how good do you think this team can be? I mean, it's as good as we want to be, really. I mean, those those penalties, turnovers, and mental errors, you know, those all result in losing. So, I mean, if we clean that up, you know, who knows where we could be like. I mean, we left a lot of plays out there, but, um, you know, coach staff will be harping on us and we'll get better. What do you think the issues are just with those? Because otherwise you, you are moving the ball. Yeah, I mean, I think just ball security. Um, you know, we do ball security drills. So, um, you know, just being more conscious of it and you know, we'll get it right. Walk me through the long touchdown. Were you surprised that opened up so open for you? Yeah, I mean, it was a great call by Coach Lunny. Um, you know, I couldn't have done it without team, you know, the offense line, Tommy, the backs, the receivers, um, you know, it was really a team effort out there. I was just the guy that got the ball. So really been, happy about it. Been knocking on the door of a touchdown for a while. Yeah, feel? <laughs> I mean, it was good. I mean, yeah, it's like a third time's charm. It's like my sophomore year on defense. I got stopped at the one. Yep. Last year on offense, I got stopped at the two. So now I've, it's fine. Like the monkey's off my back. Now. It's been like a running joke. Oh, I just can't crack the end zone, but now it's over. So I'm glad. How does it feel to get the, the tight ends really involved? Yeah. Uh, all three of you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's great. You know, we really have a three headed monster there. Um, you know, any tight end that's in there, I think we do really well. So I'm glad that we're producing and we're playing well and helping this team win. Uh, it's been kind of crazy, but you know, I, I just take it in stride and you know, whatever I can do to help the team win, it's, you know, that's kind of what I do, regardless if it's on offense, defense, special teams. It doesn't what was that, I guess, conversation with Bianca like when he moved you from, was it linebacker to tight end? Yeah, that, yeah, I was playing linebacker at the time and then he moved me to tight end. I guess, what did he kind of say to you? What was that kind of switch then, kind of like for you? Yeah, so he was just suggesting that he wasn't really forcing it on me. He was like, hey, if you want to like do this, I think you could do good things here. And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? You know, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. And that's just kind of how it went. Not to give away uh, secrets or anything, but mm -hmm. was getting you guys involved in the offense a part of the game plan today? Um, honestly, I think we were just trying to spread the ball everywhere. I mean, we got playmakers everywhere. Outside of the receivers, obviously our running backs are really good. Um, even us at tight end, you know, Tommy can put it out there and the whole line's going to protect. So it's really just spreading the ball around. Like, we got plenty of guys to make plays out there. So it's just kind of, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We're known as a running team, but um, how does it help you guys to be more versatile and get the passing game going? Yeah, it definitely opens up some things. And the whole line gets a lot of credit of that and our backs and stuff like that. So, you know, give a lot of credit to them. But we're just, you know, we're running the offense, what coach puts us in, and trying to be successful and, you know, move the ball down the field and score a lot of points. So, like, with, with Barry's background, especially as a tight ends coach, his whole career, did mm -hmm. you guys as a unit think, okay, this is going to be good for us? This guy's yeah. going to this guy's gonna help us. Yeah, absolutely. His background is, I mean, he's always helping us out, walking in our room, um, doing stuff like that and just trying to get us involved. Um, obviously, we have a lot of... Excuse me, we have a lot of playmakers everywhere, so um, spreading the ball around, like I said, um, it's been great. And Coach Lonnie's a great mentor, especially for me. I'm still kind of young at the position, so just hearing his thoughts and what he sees out there, it's really helpful. I think things at times got a little uh, uh, tough for, for uh, Luke. Mm -hmm. does, does this game get him out of that, you think? Is it a big positive step for him? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Luke's a great player. He's a great teammate, too and we need him to be successful. So, you know, and anytime Luke's out there, we're, we're in a good spot to win. And, you know, it's, it's really good to see him grow. And, you know, I'm glad that we have, you know, our own conversations together and with the tight ends and with the team. Um, I mean, he's a great guy and we just want him out there and to be successful.